How's it going guys? It's Corbin here from highimpactwriting.com and in this video I'm going to answer uh, one of those eternal questions that writers and uh, freelance writers and copywriters and just freelancers in general uh, regardless of what it is you create. Uh, you know lots of people have this question and I think it'll help a lot of people out again regardless of you know what industry you're in or what exactly it is you create on a freelance basis. Uh, but basically, you know, the question is, how do I get clients? Where do I find clients? Uh, or how can I get clients to come to me? Um, you know, all pretty good questions. Uh, and I remember wondering the same thing starting out. So uh, one tip I'll give you in this video is not to neglect uh, Facebook groups. And so Facebook groups, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, realize that that's a good place to go relatively quickly and so they join them um, but the problem is that the quality varies widely in terms of the people who are looking for freelancers there so you'll see there's people who like are obviously just like bootstrapping their first agency and just like paying people next to nothing and just like getting gigs on Upwork and trying to outsource it to you and they're going to pay you like 20 bucks to do <laughs> to write like 2000 words or something and so obviously you know if you spend any time on these groups you'll learn to recognize uh, people like that pretty quickly um, and so there you know that's one tip in and of itself is just to avoid you know posts like that and you know again after a while you'll start to be able to pretty easily spot you know who's doing that um so that's the first thing i would say uh but secondly uh, a lot of people after they have that experience and they see that that's like it's probably the majority of like posters on there who are looking for freelancers are like people like that so uh, a lot of people see that and then they get discouraged and they're like oh i'm never gonna find like high quality of clients on here so like why even bother i'll just go back to cold email or you know however else you usually go about drumming up business and i would say that that's a mistake because i've actually gotten super high quality clients off of facebook groups and uh, I'll tell you a couple anecdotes now just to illustrate this, uh, but yeah, that's my other big tip to you is not to disregard Facebook groups and to keep an eye out in there for high quality clients because a lot of them can actually crop up there. So uh, one story just to illustrate this for you is like I was uh, online either like super early in the morning or super late at night and some guy had posted uh, that he was looking for a writer for just like SEO copywriting. Um, and this was in like one of the smaller copy groups. There's like the cold to copy job board, which is pretty big. And then there's also like copywriting gigs and like the copywriter club. And like you should join pretty much every group that's related with your industry just as another tip, just so you can see, you know, all of these, because a lot of the ones that are actually less big, you know, someone will post there and no one will reply. And that's exactly what happened here. So this guy had posted, you know, looking for SEO copy, you know, people of experience, whatever. So I sent him a message uh, because pretty much no one <laughs> had responded to his post, at least publicly. Um, and I ended up getting the bit, the, uh, the gig, and it was for uh, Univision, which is like, Univision is the biggest like um, media company for like, I think Spanish speaking audiences, like it's a massive uh, telecom or media company. And so, you know, it just goes to show. And uh, this guy ended up being with a pretty large agency with offices in uh, LA and New York. And I still work with these people. Um, right now, I'm like, I'm actually doing another a project with them for another household name humongous media company that you would definitely recognize uh, <laughs> um, but it just goes to show like this guy um, had posted on Facebook and no one even responded and it was for like this huge agency doing work for this huge company uh, and they pay really well they've referred me to other people other clients outside of the agency and it all came from this one post in a Facebook group that no one ever responded to except for me. So that's my one tip for you is to always, uh, you know, stay, stay on the lookout on Facebook and be proactive. If something comes up and it's a good fit, that's the other thing is like recognize stuff that is a good fit for you and your skill set. Um, because 
you know, you're just more likely to get the job and more likely to do a good job. And if you do a good job, you'll stay with these people and they'll refer you out to other friends of theirs too, which is exactly what ended up happening. Um, and so that's, that's my one piece of advice. The other thing I would say is keep an eye out for like startups. Okay. And so that's, that's kind of vague because you, again, you don't want to start with these people who are just like starting an agency and they don't even have any writers or projects and they're just paying you like bottom of the barrel prices. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, instead I would say look for like visionary solopreneurs or like that's really the best way of describing it. I know that sounds pretty cheesy, but I've, I've found that like, if you can get in with one of these startup type people or type companies, um, they'll end up feeding you a lot of work because, um, if someone is like a visionary founder, a lot of times they'll, they'll be in this like startup, they'll need a bunch of stuff written for it. Um, and then they'll make an exit and move on, or they're running like three or four companies at once. And they also need writing for this other thing that they're doing, or they, they know people who are also in the startup space and own like four or five different, like small companies. And, <laughs> uh, basically they have a lot of ongoing needs and they're jumping around a lot from place to place. Um, so anyways, again, like someone had posted on there looking for, I think just a landing page for like a healthy food prep, like meal delivery thing. Uh, and I ended up writing it for him, doing a pretty good job. And again, uh, he went on to refer me to someone else. Uh, he's consistently had other work for me. Uh, now he's got like a crypto project that he needs writing for and I've been helping him out with that. So um, that's the thing is you never know like, you know, just from a post on Facebook, um, it could end up bringing in quality work from a quality client for like months, if not years to come. So I would stay, say, uh, stay active on Facebook groups. And I hope this kind of gave you some things to look for and some things to stay away from. Uh, if you need more clarification or have questions, uh, hit me up in the comments and I'm happy to answer, but I hope that helped you out and you can always learn more at highimpactwriting.com. Peace out.